while it is not a universal rule it is often observed that people who are overly nice or who are really simple often face a lot of challenges in the corporate world because the corporate world is so competitive and if you are one of them if you are facing those kind of challenges here are the reasons and some actions which you can take in order to rise and shine reason number 1 lack of assertiveness lot of times we have fear of rejection or fear of conflict because of which we don't voice our thoughts or we don't share our ideas or opinions because of which other people don't involve us in the decision making process we are overlooked and because we are not assertive they don't give us that chance or we ourselves don't go ahead and grab the chance to make our voice heard so that lack of assertiveness is one reason why simple people or overly nice people are overlooked reason number 2 underestimation lot of times simple people underestimate themselves they always in their mind think that they are a little inferior to other people around them and this underestimation is nothing but something which is in their mind if you ask other people other people may not underestimate you but you yourself end up underestimating yourself which actually holds you back so if you take that away from your mind a lot of things can actually improve point number 3 when you are not assertive and when you are underestimating yourself people start to take you for granted okay so people will start to take you for granted they will probably not invite you to certain events or they will for that matter in simple things not even copy you on emails in which you should be copied and there are other things which people do for example they get the work done from you but they show it to somebody else as if most of the work is done by them so they don't even necessarily copy you on those emails and as a result you lose a lot of credit and visibility So remember in the competitive world that we are operating in it is very important for us to at least get the due credit of the work that we have done okay so if somebody is not copying you on the emails on which you are supposed to be copied you should go and voice that concern with them that hey what happened to that work did you send it to the right stakeholders because i was not copied on that email these are simple things but because sometimes we have that habit of letting it go it actually becomes a trend where people start to take us for granted point number 4 the way you carry yourself in office the way you speak the way you conduct actually has a lot to do with how people will treat you and let me take a very simple example if there is some function happening if there is some leader coming and speaking it may be your manager or it may be somebody from the senior management who is coming and addressing a crowd of let's say 20 people 30 people 50 people where do you go and stand okay most of the times you will probably go and stand in the middle or at the back this shows your mentality that you don't want to come in front and there is some fear or there is some doubt in your mind that if you stand in front you will probably be asked a question or you will be asked to speak and because of that you go somewhere and hide yourself for some unknown reason which is again in your mind there are people who are in your group who actually don't work as hard as you work okay they probably don't know stuff they probably don't have enough knowledge but because they have that confidence to stand in the front and speak they are not worried about any question getting asked to them they always go and take the limelight okay those are the people who will beat you in spite of you doing a lot of good work in spite of you actually being the star performer they are the people who will rise and shine if you continue to go and stand at the back and this is just one example this is something which is applicable in so many ways you have to get the point that in this world if you have to make your place or if you have to make your presence felt you need to go and grab that opportunity nobody else is going to come and give it to you in a plate it is not about grabbing somebody else's opportunity it is actually grabbing something which you actually deserve in the first place and just by not taking that initiative or just because of some unknown fear in your mind if you are you know kind of 
withdrawing yourself you are actually giving chance to others to go and grab that opportunity and you can't actually blame them for doing that another important point is the kind of people you hang out with just check what kind of people are you hanging out with generally we will hang out with like minded people okay so if you are a nice and simple person you will hang out with another set of nice and simple person and then in those conversation you will wonder why somebody else is getting ahead of you because you think that they don't deserve it because you think they are not as hard working or as knowledgeable as you are but they are going ahead of you so if you hang out with like minded people you will actually wonder why that is happening and sometimes you label it as office politics that somebody is getting ahead just because he is doing politics or she is doing something to gain visibility etc etc it is not that you need to actually look within yourself and find out what are the things which i am not doing today what are the skills which i don't have today and when i say skills it is not the hard skills it is the soft skills it is the skill to make relationships at work building rapport making visibility asking the right questions there are so many things okay which actually are helping other people to get ahead of you so you need to do self analysis and find out if i am good at some things what are the other things which i am not good at and probably those are the reasons why other people are getting ahead of me so don't just become too nice and say oh i am not good at politics and other people are good at politics and that is why they are ahead of me it is actually sometimes not politics it is sometimes actually life skills smart skills which people apply at work sometimes we give ourselves an excuse that you know i can't do that i am not that person i am i am not that naturally i can't do such things so it is not about being good or bad it is just about being street smart in this competitive world if we have to survive we have to become street smart okay we have to grab what we deserve we can't give ourselves excuses about it so don't put yourself in a position of professional disadvantage learn communication skills learn how to become assertive learn how to promote yourself in a subtle way these things actually matter a lot and it gives you a lot of competitive advantage let me know what do you think about it in comments if you resonate with it do share this video in your whatsapp network i'll see you in another video very soon take care and bye for now